Oh, hello there. My name is Amitav Parido. I'm candidate number one. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Okay. Cheers. Thank you. Okay. Um, so this is Cruz. Mm. Um, I'd like you to examine the abdomen. <laughs> Hello, my, my name's Amaz Aparid, I'm one of the children's doctors, it's nice to meet you. Hello, Cruz. Um, um, I've been asked to examine Cruz's abdomen, is that, is that okay? It is. Um, excellent. Can I ask how old Cruz is? He's two years and one month. Excellent. And how is he doing today? Be miserable. He's a bit miserable, I'm sorry, I'll try not to upset him. Okay. Oh dear, I'm sorry. Oh, Cruz, I'm very sorry. Do you want to watch something on your iPad? Is there anything nice? What would you like to watch? Do you, like, do you like the wheels on the bus? Oh, it's not loading. That's a bit, that's a bit frustrating, huh? Never mind. So, Mum, what I'm going to do is just have a look at um, Cruiser's um, hands, face, tummy, back, le legs, and have a feel of the, uh, of, of the abdomen as well. Okay. Could you, um, if you could kindly just take off his clothes, um, just leave him in his underwear if that's okay. In fact, what we'll, what we'll do, Mum, if it's okay with you, we'll just improvise and examine Cruz on your lap, so I think you'll okay, be more comfortable right. there. Is that okay? <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to have a good look around. Hi. I'm very sorry. Okay. I'm going to have a look at your back as well. Good. Excellent. I'm going to have a look at your hands. You don't mind if I just quickly pull down the eyes, Mum? Have a look in the mouth, the one there. Okay, good. Excellent. I'm just going to have a feel here. I'm just going to come from behind and just have a feel. Okay, and then while I'm here, I'm just going to have a listen around the back. Upsetting him. Would you like to pop his clothes back? Sure. Cruz, thank you very much, darling. It's all right, we're finished now. So, I mean, could you present your findings, please? Um, yes, yeah, so I, I examined Cruz's abdomen. Um, he's a two year old boy who appears small in terms of height and weight, um, but I'd like to plot those on a growth chart. The most significant findings on examination were. Um, gross ascites uh, on the abdomen mm -hmm. um, and the presence of uh, either a, a gastrostomy or a jejunostomy tube uh, on, on the abdomen. There were no obvious peripheral stigmata of um, chronic liver disease, mm -hmm. um, renal disease um, or cardiac surgery um, on examination, but I'd like to um, kind of uh, further my uh, examination by taking a full uh, 
birth uh, and postnatal uh, and antenatal history. Right. Um, my differential diagnosis with gross societies in a child who is small for age and is requiring um, uh, additional nutrition through a gastrostomy would include um, chronic liver disease, um, chronic renal disease, uh, or cardiac um, disease as well. But I, I would need to do further investigations to right. do that. Um, in the clinic setting, I'd like to take a blood pressure and um, obtain a urine uh, dip as well. Right, okay. So if you, this patient turned up to your general outpatient clinic, uh, obviously without the gastrostomy, how do you plan to investigate um, so in the first instance, I'd like to um, plot weight and height, um, and I would like to um, perform baseline blood, blood test investigations, including um, FBC, LFTs, um, usernees, protein, um, creatinine ratio mm -hmm. in the urine, and uh, an abdominal ultrasound, um, including um, an ultrasound of the uh, renal vasculature with doctors and uh, doctors of the uh, portal circulation as well, depending on and possibly an echocardiogram, depending on the findings of the cardiac mm -hmm. exam. Um, depending on those findings, I would guide second line investigations and further referral. Okay. And taking things further forward, I mean, he, he does have a renal problem, um, and indeed that is a situs. Mm -hmm. uh, his creatinine is running high at the moment. Um, how, how would you plan long term management of him? Um, so I'd want to mention in a multidisciplinary way, um, taking into account kind of biological and, and, and psychosocial factors of the child and the family. Um, I'd want to involve a tertiary paediatric nephrologist, um, mm -hmm. nephrology specialist nurse, possibly a paediatric urologist as well, depending on the underlying diagnosis, and a local uh, paediatrician, as well as a um, community nurse mm -hmm. uh, for, for feeding support as he's got a peg in situ. Management of the renal disease would depend on the etiology of the, of the chronic renal failure. If it were a congenital renal anomaly, such as multidisystic dysplastic kidney or posterior urethral valve, that may involve some form of surgical intervention uh, in yeah. the first instance. In terms of the kind of renal function, as you, as you said, if he's got a deteriorating renal function, um, treatment options would include um, transplantation uh, or hemodialysis as, as an interim measure. Um, in addition, one would want to screen for um, anemia. Um, one would want to look at uh, bone health, vitamin D, uh, calcium levels, um, and, and parathyroid hormones, and growth as well. Um, growth hormone supplementation may be required when, when he's older. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Uh, Cruz was a very difficult candidate to examine. Certainly at this age, it's very hard to uh, have a slick examination that you might get, like say in, a, in an older child. And this is one of the bigger challenges for candidates doing MRCPCH part two. And I think uh, Amit did this pretty well. Um, the key thing in this is to be very sympathetic to the child, but be uh, quite uh, constructive about how you use the situation, but also get lots and lots of clinical information out. So I think Amit did that pretty well. I mean, he, he chose quite early to, to do the examination on the child's, on the mother's uh, knee rather than on the bed. That was a smart move, and it uh, encouraged much more cooperation. And he actually got a fairly full examination although perhaps the child wasn't enjoying it as much as he might. But there wasn't really much one else one could do. Perhaps some uh, distraction might have uh, been something we could have used, uh, but that wasn't available in the setting. So actually coming on to the examination itself, um, it did a very kind of slick um, pediatric abdominal examination, again given the circumstances. And I like the way he again took charge of the situation. Everyone knew what they were meant to be doing, the mum and Cruz as much as he was able to. And that worked very well. Um, I don't think really Amit missed many findings there. He quite quickly worked out that was ascites uh, as a cause for this child's abdominal distension and identified the PEG. Um, clearly, the, the, when you have ascites, there's a reason for it, liver, um, kidney, um, or heart. And you can see this child didn't have a heart problem uh, from many other findings. So I think that's perhaps one could have been discounted quite early. And the child wasn't jaundiced either, so we could really have focused back on the kidneys perhaps a little more than Amit did. Um, I thought it would have been worthwhile specifically showing me that he was attempting to block for some giant kidneys. Um, and uh, even with the ascites there, that might have been uh, a worthwhile thing to do. Um, and then specifically show me how he was looking for scars for renal transplant, which he may indeed have had. Um, I think Amit worked out there wasn't a renal transplant, but I, I wasn't clear that uh, he'd, he'd looked for that properly. Um, perhaps doing a bit more of a show of showing how he'd look for um, edema, peripheral edema, and then asking for a blood pressure, again, might have added to the examination. 
Uh, when we got down to the bit where uh, we, I was asking him questions, um, it showed that he really knew what he was doing. He had thought about the case. Um, he'd actually got a very sensible management plan. And I think it would have worked um, as well. So I thought really quite a good candidate there. Um, I'd have passed him as uh, in his general um, examination and his findings without any doubt at all.